Hey y'all. What's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I know I said after the last vlog I wasn't going my hair out, but it still looks so good. So we're gonna have to get it while it's still crisp. Alright, we're gonna do a little physique check because it's Monday. So on Mondays we're gonna do physique checks on this channel unless it's that time of the month and then we'll see to the next Monday. Okay, let's see what's tea. On it, anything I said, I stamp on it in a private plane. I lamp on it, let the old and call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him, show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him, twist my fingers up on a bang on him, let the old, let the old, yeah. Tobalo, go macho, yeah. Tobalo, go macho. Nobody know tomorrow, choro ka choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he call matos. No go fambo. As that day comes, as I go on, God don't watch over. all right gang now that that warm-up is over let's get into our first main combo of the day which are bar romanian deadlifts we have 135 pounds here on the bar we have four sets on our third and fourth set we will be adding a band so you know what's tea we suck in that gut we push through our heels and we don't forget to breathe make sure when you're pulling the bar up you are rotating your shoulders back you are it's like you're imagining someone trying to take the bar away from you when you're going down into the negative like they're pulling it from you and when you are pulling up you are pushing through your heels your core and your glutes and hamstrings to take it away from them imagine like a pulley mechanism making sure you are collapsing the top of your body keeping your knees slightly bent to get the most glute engagement that you can let's go gang Got it, 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 got it,
All right, gang, we setting up for our next exercise, which are hip thrusts. Some people call them glute bridges. We are hip hinging again. I use this 12 inch step up platform at my gym as the basis of my hip thrusts. Whatever you're using, make sure that it's comfortable enough for you so that when you are completing the exercise, the <clears throat> platform, bench, whatever is right underneath your shoulder blades so that you can pull up the bar and contract correctly. So let's talk let's talk about contracting correctly. You are contracting on this exercise as in completing the rep. You're not throwing your body forward. You are placing your shoulder blades right on the ledge, right under the ledge of the bar bench, whatever you're using, right? When you lift the weight up, you are pushing and pulling, when I say pushing, pulling it up with your heels. You should have your chin tucked and you are looking forward. So imagine you are pushing through your heels and you are scooping the bar up. I like to hold it a little bit at the top and also pause at the end of the set. So imagine you are pushing the floor away with your heels and you are scooping it up with your hips and your glutes. All right. I did the same thing I did in the first combo move. I added a band on the third and fourth sets. So while we're talking about moves, let's talk about how we stack the exercises. I should have said that in the beginning. For me, mentally and physically, RDLs are the hardest. I know some people say it's hip thrust, but I like to expend my energy wisely. So whatever is going to give you the most mental and physical angst, I would do that exercise first. All right, gang, let's get in here and finish these on out. What's it going? Do I go? Oh, the Bentley. The girl that ride the boat. I know you die for nothing. What's it going? Do I go? Oh, the Bentley. The girl that ride the boat. I know. Y'all see it? Me at workout check in. Y'all, I should have bought a hair tie, but let's get to it. All right, gang, up next. Yes, I'm singing because it's Bulgarian split squats, and they are my fave, and I feel like they're like the biggest booty builder. I know we do combo moves, but this is the one, y'all. All right, so while I was at the gym the other day, I realized like I could pair the split squat machine that we have with the Smith machine. And the reason I'm excited about that is because split squats, the hardest part is to make sure that they're effective because they lack stability. Like you really have to have a really great stabilized core or a setup or holding on to something to really stabilize the non-working leg. So now we have two stable items. We have the Smith machine and we have this split squat thingy at my gym. I don't know what it's called, but I really got a chance to work with the foot placement so I could get right into the exercise. So here we have four sets of eight to 10 reps. Y'all know what I mean when I say eight to 10 reps. Mentally, you have to decide, like you pick a weight, you know you can get to that six to eight rep range, but to get to 10, you gotta really push through mentally. All right, let's finish these on out. Don't go there from saying the third life on no get the time for the hate and the bad energy But my mind on my mind Make you dance like Pokemon Let me play Y'all Let me play Y'all Anyway I feel like Bulgarians are like my top booty grower I know we're doing a lot of heavy combos lately So we're going to get results But the Bulgarians The crew
All right, gang, final move of the main event. We have Smith Machine Good Mornings. I am using these two little five pound plate as a wedge so that I can properly hit my hinge hinge my hips <laughs> back. So this is another hip hinge exercise. So we are placing the bar approximately where you would place the bar if you were gonna do traditional back squats. The only difference is that we have our feet slightly bent and we are hinging straight forward. Again, it's the flip phone effect. You are in this situation, it's like when you're going down in the negative, someone is pulling you back. And when you come up, you are working against that pull to come forward. Here, like the same combo move earlier, I added a band in sets three and four to do a little bit of a challenging ourselves. So let's get in here and finish the main event so we can get into our finishers. First finisher of the day or finishers are our leg lifts. So here first we have our glute medius leg lift. And when I say leg lift, people say kickbacks, but I am not using my knee to pull the cable back. I'm using the back of my leg to lift the cable up. Here it's probably like a 30 degree leg lift slightly adjacent to the pulley, the cable. So you're lifting your leg up and out and that you can feel the stretch at the top and that's the complete exercise. I just completed one set of these on each leg. The reason being is that we're going to go into two more types of lifts. Let's go. All right, gang, our second lift, our 45 degree cable leg lifts. We are attaching the cable, creating tension. We are stepping over the cable, leaning a little forward, and we are lifting our leg up and back just like we would on the glute medius leg lift that we did previously. Yes, these are very similar. They all are. But this ensures that we hit all sides of the glute medius so that we get that nice curve, create the illusion of a hip, or if you have nice hips, just to make them look more rounded and give you that curvy figure that you desire. Again, we are lifting the cable up and out. External rotation. All right, gang, our final set of leg lifts are your traditional cable hip abduction. We attach the cable to our cuff. We step over the cable, but we do not lean forward. We are trying to stand kind of upright. You are going to have to place the standing leg a few inches forward so that you can lift that leg up and out. Make sure you have slow and controlled movements and you are, I try to hold on to my leg so that I kind of feel the muscle mind connection here. On these exercises, I just completed one set on each leg because we did three different types. All right, gang, final exercise of the day. We're ending with back extensions as we always do. So when you're completing traditional back extensions, which are what we're doing here, your toes are pointed forward, your shoulders are square, you are pulling up the dumbbell plate or whatever you're using, think RDL. Make sure you're holding in your core and you're squeezing your glutes at the top. Do not hyperextend your back. Once you feel the contraction, that's where you end the repetition. 
We are supersetting back extensions today. So here we have our glute focus back extension. The difference is, is that your toes are pointed out in a sumo stance. Your back and shoulders are rounded and you complete the repetition once you're at the top of your glutes. Make sure you are squeezing your core, your hamstring and your glutes with this exercise. Also want to let you guys know to make sure that the mat you are using or apparatus is right below your hips so that you can get a full contraction of the exercise. Just I heard too much, I lost too much, I lost too much, I hit my clutch and boom, her day pop out the tune. I like when you put your gun on the red light, I like all the violence, give me this function. I like all right gang we made it let's get in here and look at this pump so we can get home and fuel our gains thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you know every time I drop a video. Please share with friends. Thank you. Y'all do any of this in the gym? Let me know what y'all routine is down in the comments below. Grump on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the old and call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them gang now